Oh, walk okay, here, and in this video, we're going to be taking a look at Chrome Beta for Android. Um, this is um, like Google Chrome, what you have on your desktop. It's now available for your mobile phone, but um, right now it's only available um, for 4.0 devices and up. So if you have a Galaxy Nexus, you'll be able to use it and try it on there and test it out. Um, like I said, it's still in beta, so maybe it might update so it's available to other version of Android uh, later and down the line. But this is the um, the new tab page which I'm showing you right now, which shows you like your most popular websites or the recent ones that you visited. Um, at the top here, we've got the URL where you could put in your URL and your tab page. I'm going to show you just in a second. Um, but a really cool thing about this is that you could sync it up with your um, desktop version of Chrome. So that means you could get, pull up all your bookmarks and all your history and actually view and uh, your tabs live and like send them into this phone which kind of eliminates the need to have like Chrome to phone which pushes your um, pages on your desktop browser to your mobile phone if you go here to this tab these are your bookmarks so you could click here to view the ones that are saved on your computer or you can click on others or you can click the ones that are saved on your mobile phone if you click the other tab down here that shows you the, all the tabs you have currently open on your computer I'm not going to open that up now because I don't want to show you what I've got um, on there but you can just have uh, an idea of what it looks like if you go over to this part here this is where you can view all your different tabs um, they've laid it's laid out in this nice uh, card fashion so as you swipe it up it kind of stacks the cards on top of each other and it has this really nice uh, animation and really uh, nice and fluid when you're scrolling and you could also use the accelerometer to kind of like move it around if you could see which is really nice feature that they've added in I don't see like I can't see myself using it like on a daily basis but it's a really nice uh, cool feature that they've added in you could also manage them so you could actually swipe them off to one side and you could close them using the X at the top of the, the um, card um, also if you open up BBC News another cool way to switch tabs once it's finished loading up is to, is to swipe them across so you can swipe across to the other one just keep swiping across just like that it's just a lot easier way to navigate to your different tabs you have open on the Google Chrome on your mobile phone um, let's go back to the beginning let's go back to the BBC you have to kind of get it I'm just going to show you how it is um, multi-touch wise um, it's very smooth when you use a multi-touch but sometimes like for example when you zoom in uh, the page doesn't load straight away it might take a while to load especially uh, not all the time but sometimes like when you're scrolling as well it might take a little while to load but it's not really a big problem double tap to zoom um, works perfectly fine let's just open this up see how fast it is to load at the page it's pretty fast to load at the page with pictures and stuff and um, one thing to bear in mind is that it doesn't support flash as of right now um, it might support flash later down in the line but as of right now it doesn't support flash um, like uh, Flash, um, Adobe said before, they're going to stop supporting Flash um, for Android phones soon, so don't expect to see Flash around forever. Um, let's move on to another website, show you how it is. Let's load up Engadget. Let's load up a few posts and see how quickly that loads up. Um, let's load this up and see how quickly it is. Um, the web browser itself is very fast. Um, in some areas, you might find that. Um, your stock um, internet browser might run a little bit faster or other third party internet browsers such as um, Opera or Firefox might run a little bit faster but still it's very good um, web browser to use it's very fast when rendering and loading up pages um, but like I said this is still in beta so there's still a lot of improvements to make um, with more updates so later down in the line you could expect it to be a lot faster and maybe run a lot better um, you can see it's loading up very fast. Let's go on to another page, see how quickly it loads up. See, for pages um, load up pretty nice, and I really do like the multitasking feature. And when you're actually using and um, this uh, internet browser, like scrolling through everything, opening up um, different settings and stuff like that, all of that runs perfectly smooth. Like, I haven't had any experience or problems with it. The only problem I had was. Uh, when I tried to open up YouTube and 
it just froze on me I don't know if it's a bug or anything like that but that's just something to bear in mind but overall it's still a very nice uh, web browser with a ton of features um, very very similar features to what you would expect on uh, your desktop uh, version of um, Google Chrome and it's very nice um, is is very. I started using it um, a couple of days ago, not a couple of days ago. Yesterday, I've been using it as my um, stock internet browser for my mobile phone, and so far everything's been fine. It's been fine so far if using it. But one of the downsides is is you can't use Flash, and it's only available for 4.0 devices. But that will change in the future. But anyway, this is just a quick look at um, Google Chrome for um, Android. Um, leave your comments below tell me what you think do you like it um, have you tried it out yet and also if you like the video give the video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already to see more videos and thanks for watching